All right, my friend, are you trying to stay on track with your diet during the holidays? It's a tough thing to do. I'm telling you it is. Why? Darned if I know. Joining us today is Kathy Freeman. Kathy is a program coordinator for the Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery Center and Crystal Westfeld, who works in the Environmental Services Department. But you also have been in this program, right? Yes. Awesome. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Tell me first all about uh, what this department does, I should say. Well, the uh, Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery Program, we work with Dr. Christopher Sanborn there at Erlanger. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually what people refer to as weight loss surgery. And uh, during the holidays, it can be a big challenge for our patients. Oh, I, 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 for everybody. For everybody, but especially when you've had this life-altering surgery that has not only changed your whole way of life, it changes the type of foods that you eat, the amounts of foods that you hold, and, and uh, you just have to really make some good decisions this time of the year. And we struggle just like everybody sure. else does. And if you don't, what happens? Do you put on even more weight? You can regain weight, um, experience a lot of discomfort, a lot of stomach stomach discomfort from getting back yeah. out of the habits of eating the, the, the right types of foods that you normally yeah. would be eating. We've got a picture of Crystal here. Crystal, if you will, tell me a brief story about your, your fight. Well, I've always had a weight problem all my life, and I finally got to the point with suffering with diabetes, high blood pressure, joint problems, that I had to do something. Yeah. So I met Kathy, and then through Kathy, I met Dr. Christopher Sanborn, and I went from that to this. How much? How much is this? I have lost 155 pounds. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Because it's not easy, I'm sure. It's very hard, very hard. But anybody can do it. If you have the drive and the ambition that you want to do it and to succeed, you can, but you got to exercise with it too, and yeah. that's very important. Yeah. Tell me about the seminars that are coming up. Uh, our next seminar coming up is going to be next Monday. Uh, it's at Erlanger East. It's a free, uh, approximately hour, hour and a half seminar on the different types of weight loss surgeries that are mm -hmm. available. Uh, it will start at 6 p.m. And then we also have uh, two a month in January, February, and March, and you can call HealthLink, 778-LINK. Uh, they can give you the dates. We actually have one a month there at the Lifestyle Center downtown, and then one a month over at Erlanger East. Does it, does it really help? Well, no, I know it does. It has to help if you, you're there with other people who are facing the same situation you are, right? I mean, it, it just helps. It does. I'm not only the co program coordinator, I'm a patient myself. Yeah. I had bariatric surgery three years ago and I lost 145 pounds. Yeah. And thank goodness have been able to keep it off. And like Crystal, I struggle every day with it. Sure. You know, but it is, it's the health benefits. You know, it, yeah. All right, now, now, what do y'all do during the holidays, Crystal? Um, I treat them just like any other day, you know, if one day at a time yeah. I um, try to stay on track, I have to remember I carry that picture around with me and I, you know, is a cookie really worth looking like that again? Yeah. I don't think so. I've worked too hard to get here and so I'm determined to keep this off. It's a shame that cookie is so bad for you, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we do have a few little pointers that we tell the patients, you know, if you know you're going to a party. Uh, prepare for it. Always be ready. A sure. uh, couple hours before you go, make sure you have a, a mm -hmm. decent amount of protein in a snack before you go so that you know when you go, say there's this beautiful buffet spread out in front of you, you when you go you're not hungry yeah. and you can pick one or two things up, maybe some pieces of fruit or a couple of pieces of vegetable, a piece of cheese. If you're worried about being able to find things there that you can have at yeah. the party, one thing you might consider is taking a, a cheese and cracker tray as a gift to your hostess. Yeah. Um, generally at a party like that, the more food the better, and, they, and a gift like that is usually always accepted, and then you have your healthy sure. choice you can make. And friends, if you want more in, uh, information, here is your website. Boy, it's kind of lengthy, but anyway, you can catch it off us a little bit later. Yourbariatricsurgeryguide.com slash holiday weight. I guess G-A-I? Okay, we got it, we think. We if not, we'll correct it, that's for darn sure. <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank now you. I wanna talk for just a quick minute about uh, uh, the badges versus the hoses event that was held uh, this past Saturday.